What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Tank and today I have for you another one of LEGO's newest sets. This is the LEGO City Stunt Show Arena. This is set number 60295 and consists of 668 pieces. And that's all it builds right here. You get two monster trucks, you get two destroyable cars, you get your new was flywheel yep uh, the stunts flywheel motor so you get one of those you get seven minifigures concession stand you get a podium you get all that builds all this and i'd say for a hundred dollars that's a pretty pretty good price because you got a lot of a lot of big solid pieces you got again seven minifigures i'd say it's a hundred dollars is a pretty Pretty fair price for everything you get in here and for just, it is quite big for everything you get. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the minifigures as usual. And here's a better look at all seven of the minifigures you get for this set. You have someone who's either part of the crew or just a random fan, doesn't really kind of say. You have your announcer, you have your two monster truck drivers you have a mom and her son coming to enjoy the show and you have your uh motorcycle stunt man nice aviator goggles on and an eye patch you can get a nice close look at everybody of course you announced you got a nice festive fiery outfit on Got the one monster truck driver with a looks like some safety gear because I'll safety first. And then of course you have your extreme logo as usual for stunts like this. Go ahead, turn everybody around. Get a look at the back. I believe it was the son here, the mom, and the one monster truck driver. They all have a secondary face. Got the kid who's real shocked because he got all the monster trucks and bikes doing tricks. Mom chilling with shades and then truck driver, happy as could be. And you got your guy fairy. Pretty much suit on. And of course he's holding the number one winner's trophy for the event. And these are your seven minifigures for this uh, set. On to the next. Oh, side notes. Uh, she just has a plain black simple helmet. He gets a pink helmet with a little uh, splat on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. There you go. A little blue and green splatter. Blue and green. And then for the kid, he actually gets a little monster truck toy. You can buy at the venue. There's a little extra as you can get. And to get the real simple things out of the way, of course, you know, there's your ramp. They do connect. So you can disconnect, connect, or you can put them together like so. And of course the flywheels motorcycle. The faster you get it, the farther it'll go. Has the green and green, blue, purple color scheme all over it. Which I probably messed up. I think the what is it? So he's 
Yeah, he's the bike rider. He's the other monster truck. Yeah. I think that's right. Speaking of which, here's your first monster truck. Got a bit of like a tiger theme to it. And both these have the same type of suspension. On the inside there, little rubber pieces that'll bounce off. So you get a little bit of a little bit of articulation out of these. Uh, one thing I would do, because they have one long axle that goes from here to here, is I would take that out and replace it with one of the short brown ones. That way you can get rid of the middle and have like an independent suspicion, suspension on all four, which I think would be would have been a better idea. So uh, comment what you think. Would you keep it as is or would you replace the long yellow axle with the two short brown piece or four short brown pieces for just right there to or whatever axle you can just for this area to give it individual suspension because I think that'd be really cool to do. And of course this uh, can kind of do, do a little bit of tricks with it. We'll hold on to the back and just push them down real hard. Do whatever you want to do. And then, of course, you have your other monster truck. This is the Cyber Beast. I said, same suspension. Goes all the way across, which I again I'd probably change those out for something shorter. And then of course you can kind of do the same thing with this or just get it going real good and just have it launch off a ramp. Then we have our I'd say winner's circle. You have first, second, third place. Along with uh, pyrotechnics. So, and then of course, nowhere is complete without your concession stand. Hot dogs and I'm not sure it's the Vita Rush drink. And of course, Gotta have it televised. That camera that'll pivot all around. Catch all the action. So I got your little concession and camera all in one. And now for the fun stuff. The destruction. Of course here's one of the destructibles you get two cars take a nice look at the roofs because those will get crushed down so they're not in not really attached you just set them like so and then when you land on them it'll crush them they are held in place kind of so they're not going to go anywhere unless you want them to. But I think that's a real cool design. More destructible environments. And of course, real simple reset. Just pull it back up. And we're ready to go again. One thing I do like is they didn't just... Well, that's pretty much the same thing, but... Yeah, same vehicles... A crushable, which is, you know, something nice. And of course, last but not least, the big event. You have your flaming hoop. You can do one, two things. You can use this side to launch your motorcycle at 
if you can do that, that's that's impressive. At whatever angle you see fit. At the top here is an obstacle. It's out of camera view, but got some rockets that'll go around and you can really get those going. That goes for a while too. So, so get it going, you can do it fast or you can kind of get going a little slower. I like more of a challenge. And of course you can have the ramp again up here or you can use your orange ones and try and ram into the barrels and scoot on through. So with this, I think that, I mean, there's a ton of possibilities you can do with this. You can make more barrels. You can probably even add a, if you really want to try, add a motor to that and get it going. So this is the new Lego Stunt Show Arena. It seemed to be really popular because they are sold out almost everywhere constantly. Whenever I go look for sets, so... Get yourself one if you haven't already. Have fun with it. Let me know what you think of these sets. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Over and out.